Thank you, Gary. Our top story tonight, after an investigation spanning two years, the Department of Justice announced today there will be no federal charges filed against the Overland Park police officer who shot and killed 17-year-old John Albers. You'll recall friends called police in 2018 concerned the teenager was suicidal. He was backing out of his garage in his family minivan when he was fatally shot by Officer Clayton Jennison. But this latest FBI decision today is not the same thing as clearing that officer of any wrongdoing. I reached out to Steve McAllister, a local law professor who at the time of John's death was actually the acting U.S. attorney who initiated that federal investigation. He explained to me, reading between the lines here, there's a lot more to the FBI's statement. First of all, it's extraordinary that they would actually issue a statement like this. So most generally when an investigation is closed with no charges, there would be no comment whatsoever. So that's unusual. Um, second of all, I think what it's trying to say, although for the layperson it might be hard to understand, is they think this was definitely a bad shooting, an unreasonable shooting, uh, an unwarranted shooting. In their statement, federal officials referred to John's death as, quote, an unnecessary tragedy and said this decision should not be interpreted as anything more than the fact the department cannot prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Officer Clayton Jennison willfully deprived Albers of his constitutional rights. And the civil rights statute is actually very old. It goes back to the 1860s, and it requires a willful deprivation of constitutional rights, which the Supreme Court has interpreted to mean a bad purpose basically malice or a hostile intent to violate someone's constitutional rights. Although it wasn't the outcome Sheila Albers was hoping for, she says this FBI report sets the record straight on certain facts of the case. The FBI and the Department of Justice did lay out some very specific facts that clarify the false narrative that was released. Um, and they are definitely pointing in a direction that this should have been a state level charge. Some of those facts outlined by the FBI include noting Officer Jennison was not directly behind the minivan when he shot Albers. The report also refers to the civil suit the family filed, noting their federal investigation aligned with the lower court's conclusion that, quote, a reasonable jury could conclude that the officer involved in this shooting had indeed used unreasonable force when he fired the first two shots at Albers. I mean, this could have been a second degree murder. This could have been easily a reckless homicide. No one, no one would say it was a premeditated, intentional first degree murder. But was it reckless? Absolutely. And I think that's what the federal statement is trying to suggest. But again, those charges he was talking about there, those would have had to been filed at the state level. So the lawsuit the FBI referred to there is the wrongful death civil suit that was settled with Overland Park with the family for more than $2 million. This is a case KSHB 41 has covered extensively since early 2018, including filing a lawsuit to gain access to gain insight into the police involved investigation and that 70,000 severance payment that Officer Jennison received upon resignation. This is also a story I've been following closely for the past two years. You might recall a couple of weeks ago we sat down with Sheila Albers to discuss some of the changes she wants to see Overland Park and Johnson County make moving forward. To read her recommendations, look for this story on our website, KSHB.com. And I do want to note, I reached out to the Johnson County District Attorney for an interview today, but he told me he has not yet had time to look over the full report. He said he would try to get back with me when he does.